make a coaching change. We obviously thought it was just important and the timing was right to get a new voice, uh, a new presence in this locker room to help lead our vision for this team moving forward. We just looked at this as we look out, as we have a plan for what this team should look like over the next three years or so. We just thought this was an opportunity where we thought it was the right time to make a change. The Knicks are in need of a new head coach. After only two years, as you just heard, management wanted a new voice. Jeff Hernasek just wasn't cutting it. Knicks president Steve Mills and general manager Scott Perry fired Hornacek early Thursday morning after landing from Cleveland. They had felt they had seen enough. The evaluation of Jeff went over an 82 game period. Uh, and we evaluated everything from practices to games, to uh, uh, you know, ability to connect with guys, and uh, I think we need to be better in that area. I, could, I think there can be some improvement, but it all doesn't uh, lay at Jeff's feet. This is a a plan that we want to win too, but we want to win in a way that's sustainable, and we want to build it organically through the organization. When it's opportunistic, you know, in our view, a few years from now, where we, maybe we can add free agents, but we first need to establish who we are as an organization, what we stand for. Patience is required, and that you don't skip steps. There's a lot of hard work and adversity that goes into to, uh, building a, a successful basketball team in the NBA. There are no quick fixes, and you don't see them around. And, and, and so I know that has been tried a number of times here in the past, but I think it's important that we as an organization and Steve and I as, a front, as leaders in the front office remain disciplined to that, and that's what we're going to do. All right, now Jeff Hornacek certainly wasn't the worst coach in Knicks history. Larry Brown leads the way with the worst winning percentage, while Hornacek ranks eighth out of the 28 coaches all time. For more on the firing, here is our Justine Ward. Ian, the Knicks have missed the postseason again. They now have another coaching change. Where do they go from here? First order of business, Justine, is to get this coaching hire right. Steve Mills and Scott Perry probably won't get a second chance to do this, so they need to find a coach who's going to help them build a winning culture, who's going to develop the young players, and I think most importantly, a coach who Chris Stapps Porzingis is comfortable with. He wasn't very comfortable with Jeff Hornacek, and that's your franchise player, so you need to find a guy who fits your star player. The front office didn't name any potential candidates. They didn't give a timeline. Are you hearing of any potential candidates for this job? The name that I would keep an eye on if I was a Nick fan is, is David Fisdale. Fisdale, I think, is going to be in high demand this offseason with all the coaching vacancies out there. But Fisdale also checks off a couple of boxes for the Knicks. He's had success with player development, and he also has pretty good relationships with the bigger name stars around the league. So you would think that he's a guy who can attract free agents to New York down the line. Another name that I'd like to point out is Jeff Van Gundy. One coach told me that he thinks that Van Gundy would be interested in the Knicks job if if Nick management approached him, and I'm sure Nick, a lot of Nick fans would be on board with that hire. And if you could guess when, when do you think this decision will come out? It's got to be done before the draft. It's important to have your head coach here going into the draft because he has to have a big say in that player you take, whether it's eight or nine. You have to have the, the guy in here in place before late June to get things going. Ian Begley, we appreciate the input. Thank you. Thank you.